So it is 20 past one and I finished work. I should be working for nearly two more hours, um, but council life. Uh, we had an induction, so it was a three month late induction, nearly four month late induction, which was about an hour, just some bullshit corporate stuff, you know, welcome, health and safety, if you see someone, you know, victimizing, vilifying, no, I don't know, being a dickhead to a kid, then do this, yada yada yada. Um, and we did it at lunch, started at lunch, so we, we had, we started break dinner at like 11 uh, and then we had smoko for half an hour, 40 minutes as well, so we did a couple of hours work today, full pay, and now I'm doing this. Uh, a couple of other guys, Pete and Zach, went to the pub, and you know what I was thinking, I could go to the pub, um, but then there was a part of me saying, oh I should go back and program and code, and then I was like, Luke, just chill the fuck out, let yourself go to the pub, uh, which I I, fi I still think I should have done. I still think I'm being too hard on myself by not allowing something like that. Um, but part of me was just like, oh, I can go home and do some more coding in the afternoon, because I did about 20 minutes last night after work as well, as before work. Um, but then the thing that stopped me, I guess, because I was going to go to the pub, well, part of it was like, I haven't had alcohol in like three or four months, I'd like to keep that up for whatever reason nonsensical really uh, the other part was like well the pub is probably might be rammed you know might be really busy you might not be allowed in I might not be able to take my bike in to lock it up it might not fit in back on back of it might not fit in the back of one of their cars so I could keep it safe yeah so I just kind of froze a bit got a bit anxious and tense should I say and then just thought okay I'll cycle home um, it's a beautiful day the last two days, yesterday was the first day of oppressive heat, of oppressive sun, should I say. It was really blistering, it was very hot. Um, today's kind of the same, it's fucking gorgeous though, very nice. Mornings are still cold, which is still nice, nice cycle to work in the uh, cool air. Um, and yeah, the last couple of nights I've been waking up at, I don't know, it's like the, the lightest part of my REM sleep. Cause I just wake up at maybe like half two, 2 a.m. needing the toilet, needing a wee, and I'm just like wide awake. And I'm like, oh, should I get up? And I fall back to sleep, and then I get up for my alarm at half three, and I'm very tired. This morning it was better. Um, I've had problems, I guess, not problems, but I've not been doing what I wanted, like with porn, because I found that I can download it, which I've never done before, and that sounds a bit like I feel like some shaming saying that, some potential and some hesitation but you know my idea is to be completely honest um, so even I've got this VPN to block everything and uh, this detoxify, detoxify app that I'm paying for some monthly subscription I've still found a way because of my habit of consuming pornography um, which has been established for fucking years of not even that frequent something you know, I went one time when I was in a, with a partner I went a year without watching it um, but it was still there waiting for me uh, so yeah but last night I didn't and I started reading two nights ago I started reading a book called uh, The Multi-Orgasmic Man by Mantak Kachia and some other people there's an, quite a large ant on my bag um, and yeah because I believe that a lot of our energy our potential is well our energy is harnessed in semen somehow I don't know how I don't know any science behind it but I experienced that like if I've masturbated then in the morning I feel more lethargic more tired like I've got less energy um, and I just can't say why I don't know but from personal experience if I go weeks or whatever without having eject having had ejaculated then I feel more energetic and that to me is better and you can say oh that's just because you want to be more productive and it's neurotic but I just feel better I experience life it, with a better frame of mind um, and yeah I can be more productive but that's almost like accidental it's because you know I, I want to work like this morning I I woke up feeling the, you know the the, the, the lethargy sort of uh, what do you call it renounced itself it, it receded quicker it dissipated quicker and uh, I was enjoying my coding in the morning more so than the last couple of days and like last night I felt tired but I felt like I wanted to code and it wasn't so much compulsion but like a genuine desire which is positive um, 
yeah, anything else? I don't know. Uh, I'm reading more because I'm reading a wider variety of things. Like I'm reading this multi-orgasmic man, like I don't know, 10 minutes a night. Throughout the day, I read this book, Why We Sleep, a book called Why We Sleep. A bit of, um, I started reading, I picked up uh, Nature, I think it's called Nature. I think it was Wald no, Walden, Walden by, is it Emerson? Or is it Faroo? I think it's Emerson. No, no, Faroo. I don't fucking know. David Faroo, is that? I don't fucking know. Well, it's called Nature. Oh, no, Walden. Yes, I just said it. Walden. Started reading that again, which is more enjoyable because it's kind of relevant to what I want to do in the future. Um, well, you know, to some degree, live in a cabin and or live in whatever. Um, yeah, I'm thinking a lot about that. I seem to be living in the future more, living for the future more. Uh, each day seems to be a bit of a rinse and repeat, which is okay because it's not too monotonous and I do quite enjoy it. Um, but nevertheless, I kind of want to get out of here to some extent. And I was thinking today, if they offered me like another year here doing this contract, um, it was something I guess I was kind of speaking to Elliot about a little bit, sort of. Uh, or it was kind of in my mind but you know you can get comfortable even doing something which is you know might, might, might make you might be making you to some extent happy or it might be comfortable you know you might be working a nine to five that you enjoy that you enjoy surrounded by decent people maybe you're in a relationship that you're enjoying and is to some degree whole wholesome or whatever um, healthy um, you know you might have a good social life your paycheck might be nice but I think I can only do that for a certain amount of time and yeah it comes to my own horn suck on my own dick but I think then I, like my ambition sort of like kicks me out of it wants to say like you know no this isn't what you want to do um, it's like with this coding thing like I'm back at work but I'm getting up at I'm getting up early enough so I can do some of my own work before my actual nine to five or you know seven forty six forty five till three fifteen or today six forty five till one fifteen um so yeah uh that's already i'd say like my ambition going luke the last thing you want to do is go back to england get nine to five so you know i'm going to push you in some respect unfortunately i'm enjoying it i'm actually finding it interesting my curiosity is guiding me and sort of the more I'm reading and whatever um, and the more I don't know I'm, I'm listening to Naval still Naval Ravikant that's his name the more I'm kind of less neurotic I feel like I'm being guided a bit more by curiosity and less by compulsion this year I think I've grown in the respect that I feel less like I just should be doing things and I you know I've gotten off the self-improvement train much more I'd say I seem to be driven I'd say maybe this is over the last few months I've developed this only subtly but I think it's to some degree noticeable in myself but I seem to be driven more by n a natural curiosity uh, and a genuine desire for expanding my knowledge base expanding my intellect however you want to call it even though it sounds pretentious as fuck um, but I, I, I'm, you know, growing from that natural desire rather than just having this ideal and just being like, should get there, should get there, want to get there, must get there, must get there, must get there, move your ass now, work, 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 grind it to find it, you know, that grind hustle culture, which I just think is genuinely bullshit because as you're hustling, you're sort of reprogramming your mind to see life, uh, see life's normal, see your normal, as that mode you know i don't think you can just hustle 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 work for fucking six 12 hour days five to ten years and then just like stop and just completely change your mindset so you're at peace and whatever i i think that'd be very difficult to do because you've, you've spent five to ten years sort of programming your mind to be working so much and i know for myself anyway if i if i did that after 10 years i'd be like i must find another project i'd feel so much guilt for just stopping working you know stopping work um, so yeah I think we should be driven by natural curiosity and if we don't have that natural curiosity we should uh, sort of 
I, I do believe we should maybe retire into a more calm surrounding, into a more uh, uh, con uh, an environment more conducive to inner calm. So not in a city. So like I don't know, take a month traveling and just hiking on your own and try to relearn that which you've forgotten you enjoy. Uh, just just find what interests you um, and try to do that day by day I guess if you're living in a city I just think that when we're living in a city and this is another bit of spiel on a bit of uh, criticism a bit of ridicule on city living uh, a bit of ridiculing um, I think we're so overloaded with information that we kind of aren't even aware of what we're curious about and what we're genuinely curious about and what we sort of naturally uh, or you know but naturally because it could be nurtured but what we naturally tend towards what we're predisposed to enjoy predisposed um, so yeah I think I don't know where I was going with that but yeah natural curiosity finding that and to find it sort of retire allow yourself the mental space and the physical space I guess to find that which you genuinely passionately are, curi are, are passionate about and are curious in and then stop pursuing those things um, and then I guess get good and get so good that they can't ignore you, whoever's words they are. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's kind of, that's that.